Uh, okay. Yeah. Doggone. Good job. Alright, so this game I think we try to be like GM status. So this is this what is my is that game called? It's called StarCraft 2. Once you're done with that, I need you to wash your face and wash your hands, okay? Don't touch anything. Don't touch your clothes. Baby, don't make a mess. Please go upstairs on the counter. Surprised if there wasn't dog hair on that thing. Gabriel, Adrian, upstairs, please. Okay, so let's see. What did we scout? We scouted uh, Forge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know this game. Okay, so we scouted a forge and a gateway. So because of this, we're like, all right, let's go double gate, cybernetic score. And then we're just gonna be cheeky. We're we're gonna try to do a little bit of harass um, while we expand. A little bit of harass, and then we'll expand because he went for a forge, and he didn't go for a double gate. <clears throat> then he. This is a very good way according to Vibe, to play against uh, a Protoss opponent, because if they're going to go for one gate, well, two gates beats one gate, right? So just make just make two gates. What we, do, we get Adepts, we add them to... Um, so as soon as they come out, we, we grab them, and we do Alt-1. So now they're on my... Uh, one hotkey. So the alt want, uh, the alt key is a steal command. So if I like if I grab my whole army and then I just grab one of these guys and then I hit uh, alt one, then just one of them would be taken out. Sorry. If you do select army, say you do shift one, and then you grab one of these guys and you do alt two, it'll take him out of the group the control group one that he was in and put him by himself in the two group which I, i'm finding is a very very powerful very very powerful thing um to get good at when you're playing this game so now we expand we literally just want to do those two guys and then we're just going to do normal stuff so now we're going to do we want to do a robo we want to do uh probes we want to do uh, robotics bay and stalkers and now what we do here is we tuck them into the mineral line and then we just put them on hold position and then we should ideally like we put them on hold position right here move them here hold position so then these can only attack them one at a time and then once they're doing that then we just go back and macro. So let's see what happens. So hopefully we just... Okay, good. I was like, uh, why are we looking at this? I think this is okay if we're gonna jump back and forth. So now because he leaves... So the thing is, is normally... Normally I would not focus um, so much attention on this. I, wanna, I really wanna focus on the stuff that I need to be doing here, which right now... We're doing everything we need to be doing. This is going, this is going, this is going. Um, we're not gonna supply block. So I don't, there's not really much that I need to do. Maybe this guy, we do, we do a warp in a robotics facility. But aside from that, um, we, can, we can focus on this. And the reason that we, that we end up deciding to focus on this is because we're doing so much damage and the other thing that i'm thinking is why aren't you defending this so so i know that i can't truly focus on this 100 percent because you're you, i almost guarantee if you're not defending this right now you're proxying me you're about to hit me with a proxy 1000 percent. so so i think we just move those in the middle line hold position 
Uh, what I what I think I did mess up here is that I should have just left these guys. Even though he, because he's warping, I could see he's warping in this, uh, or maybe I didn't. Maybe you can't tell. If I ever do recognize that this is a Void Ray, I should probably just cancel and just let him sit here and keep keep killing probes. Or maybe separate them, like put, put one here, put one here, and then ignore it. And then just have him have to deal with that and not have an economy while I focus on this. And I guarantee I'm probably like, I need to do um, some shield batteries and start making stalkers and make a couple more gates because because this dude is, he's got to be proxy. Um, actually, I think it does. it's not too bad that I uh, warped them out because I warped them out and then I send them back in because I saw that it's void rays and I know that those these units can't shoot up. So the only thing that makes sense is to just send them right back into the base, which I just did. Like if he's going to hit me with void rays, let's see what we did. We probably did. Okay, so two gates and a robo. The robo is more like... Are you going to be cheeky? Is this going to be DTs? Do I need an observer? I don't know. And then I imagine I'm going to do some uh, some shield batteries. So there's a shield battery. And I think he hits me before that shield battery's done, sadly. But there it is. So now he's hitting us. We're, mo we're moving all the probes. And then we're fixing the probes. And then we realize... And then we realize that... At some point, we realized that he actually has like shield batteries, so I start freaking out a little bit here. But then I realize that I have uh, I have quite a few stalkers, so we'll just save our economy. Probably didn't need to move it. Kill these, and then that's I think that's the end. Fixing, yeah, and he leaves. So really, really, really good game um, for us. Let's watch him because this is this is just brutal. see the forge you have to when you go into a base you have to click on this you have to click on the things that aren't done to see what they are obviously we know what these are we can see that this is done we don't know what this is we click on it we're like oh that's that's a forge why is that a forge okay and then uh, on our way out we click on this we see cybernetics work Yeah, like game ending damage already done. So, like, if we look, this guy's got three, seven. We've killed ten probes at three minutes. That's like half his economy is just gone right now. And then we warp him out. He thinks he's safe. We end up just sending him right back in. Um, it'll be a while. It doesn't happen instantaneously. But I think it happens before he attacks us. So the important thing is, is that if I grab all my, if I select all army, this comes back and does nothing. So I cannot, I have to trust in my ability to hotkey correctly. And not select all of you. I feel like at some point I can freak out, but we'll see. He's like, oh, fucker. So, yeah. And that's that. And right before he leaves the game, so he's got nothing. His his, he's got four uh, batteries that are full, and he has no economy. No economy. So now this guy's ten, and this guy's twelve. So now we've killed twenty two probes, and all he has is gas. So that's 
so just brutal. Absolutely brutal. We almost killed his whole con before he quit the game. Yikes. And that so so real quick, just really quick. Just to talk about it. Um if you'll notice something here. Go here. Go to Daddio. He's got Nexus hotkeyed and a Stargate hotkeyed. This guy. This is probably what he does. Like this is this is probably what he does every game, and the reason he's never going to get out of the rank that he is is because he's not learning how to do an actual economy he's not learning how to macro make make things make ju so just to put macro in perspective like to put like a perfect macro perfect macro would be i would actually not have two probes queued up it would just be this one and right when this hits 12 then we queue and queue up the next probe because as soon as we queue up a probe, we lose that money. We lose the 50 minerals that it costs to make that probe. So you don't want a bunch of... If you if you fill this up, that's 100, 200, 250 minerals that are... And, and 200 of them... Sorry, am I doing math right? 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So 200 of your minerals are just stagnant they're not they're not useful if you didn't fill up this whole thing up with probes you would be able to make you know another gate if you didn't fill this up with a with probes you would be able to make another gate if you didn't fill this up with stalkers you'd be able to make another gate um a, a, a robo right so ideally like every depending on how much money you're making Unless you're getting all in and you need to defend, you're always making workers until you hit whatever number you're comfortable with. For me, um, it's been 75. I, I don't know what the number should be as a Protoss player. I know for Zerg, it's like 66 is the optimal number. Um, but for me, I, I do 75. I try to maintain an economy of 75 with perfect saturation. As soon as one of these these uh, patches mines out, I want to move them to a new base. And I only have enough production and tech stuff up that I can use with 100% uptime. So as soon as, you know, I get a, as soon as I make a probe, make a probe, make a stalker make a stalker do an upgrade and i and then i see that i still have 150 minerals left over i should make another gate because that that is a surplus that is that is being useless i should make another gate i should make another pylon pylon right and then uh, a robo so if i have this is making something this is making something or they're on cooldown because we warp stuff in warp, warp something in warp something in warp something in make a immortal out of a robo and then i have 150 left over okay make another gate make a forge so because we we just want a hundred percent uptime none of our production buildings should ever not be making something um with a priority on probes and a priority on expanding and a priority on always as soon i should already have a base up and running when i need to move dudes to a new patch and so a guy that plays like this he'll never get to that next level if all he's doing is a one base economy and then just focusing on this because if we sniff this out and he's doing a one base 
and we're making just enough uh, stuff to defend to defend this, but we also behind it have a second base, then we are going to win the game. 99 out of 100 or 90 out of 100 because we're we're gonna have this bigger economy and he's gonna be behind us like he's literally you know 50 50 percent of the economy that we have he has and just it's just it's just numbers more beats less and that's that so hope you enjoyed that one that was a stomp of a platinum player.